Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Murakami Chronicles. Today we are going to talk about the books I have read in December. The first book that I read in December is something I have already talked about way too much on my channel, it is A Close in Common Orbit by Becky Chambers and this is the second book in the Wayfarers series. I cannot say what this is about but uh, it is sort of the companion to the first one and it follows two main characters that we were following in the first one. If you enjoyed the first one, you will definitely enjoy this one. We'll talk about it more in my uh, favorites of the year, which I will leave a link to uh, in on the screen so you can go check out that video. It was super good, 5 out of 5 stars, uh, definitely recommend it. It's amazing. The second book I read in the month is Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire and this is the first book in the Wayward Children uh, series. This is the story of uh, children that go through doors to other worlds, sort of like Fairylands or Narnia. You can see it like that and they go through to this school that helps them uh, deal with being back into the real world and there is a mystery and it is very short-lived. Uh, um, you quickly get to know what's going on. Uh, so that's a fun thing. I um, actually uh, thought it was way too quick <laughs> and I would have preferred to have a little bit more to this book so that's why I am so far giving 4 out of 5 stars to this uh, book just because of the length, otherwise it was fantastic. Next in the month I read Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shannon McGuire which is its second book to Every Harder Doorway and this is a companion to the first one, it is not the um, continuation and this follows two characters that we saw in um, and the first one and it is them in their world that they visited and it was very interesting and I cannot wait for the third one because I cannot wait to see more of those worlds. It, it is so fascinating. I really enjoyed this one. I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one though looking back on it I think uh, I, w I liked them both as much. It's just that the first one dealt with so many different characters and that was very interesting. I think they should both be 4 out of 5 stars, uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars, sorry, uh, because the only thing that sucks is the length. It is so very good, but there are shorter books that make more of an impact than those, so that's why I am just lower lowering it to 4.5 instead of 5, um, but yeah. It could benefit for, from being like 50 pages longer, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Then I read uh, two graphic novels and those are the third and fourth volume of the Archie comics. This one I gave four stars, this one I gave two. I thought this volume was more of a filler volume, the arc wasn't interesting, but this one was fantastic. It actually made me cry in the end. <laughs> It was very very interesting so that arc was better than this one but I mean I still love the characters in this book um, Jughead is amazing so I mean I still love them so very much. Next I read uh, the complete uh, series of Alice and Ada and uh, so there's three volumes and this is the story of um, Alex who receives an android uh, for his birthday. Uh, it's a gift from her grandmother, from his grandmother, sorry. And uh, it's dealing with diversity and uh, differences and acceptance. It is dealing with it very, very well. And I gave this series four out of five stars. Next in the month, I reread the first two books in the Falling Kingdom series, Falling Kingdoms and Rebel Spring, and I read those on audio. I actually really, really enjoyed the audiobooks. Um, at first, I wasn't enjoying Falling Kingdom as much as the first time I read it, because Cleona was a pain. She was so annoying um, at first, and then I grew to, you know, love her again, but she's still so annoying and the characters are so immature. <laughs> it is so ridiculous, but I still love it so very much. This has a very special place in my heart because this series made me fall back in love with reading a fantasy and why series in general because I was reading more contemporary books, but this made me fall in love with fantasy. 
So it's just fun. I love rereading those books. I gave Falling Kingdoms three stars and Rebel Spring four stars because it was so much better than the first one. I uh, forgot how good it gets so I cannot wait to read uh, Gathering Darkness this month. Next is The Comet Seekers by Ellen Sedgwick. If you want to know more of my thoughts when I was reading it, I will leave a link uh, again to the reading vlog. Um, but this book was very 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 interesting. I just really enjoyed it. It is very hard to describe. And I think it is better to go into it without knowing a lot because it surprised me so very much and it was such a good surprise. I think I enjoyed it more not knowing completely what it was about. Uh, so I will not give you a synopsis other than um, being the story of a couple of characters, like three characters that their paths intertwine throughout their lives and it is a story about family and love and friendship and sickness. It is just so, so lovely. I really enjoyed it and to the day I still think about this book. It was very fascinating and I think um, that if you are not a fan of literary fiction but you are a fan of fantasy, um, this is sort of magical realism and magical realism is a very good in-between um, genre and it is just so it is so sweet it is just amazing and it made me cry a little or a lot <laughs> anyways this was very good and i gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars the final book i have read this month i finished yesterday and it is sea of strangers by langleaf and i don't have a physical book i actually read it as an arc uh, from Ned Galley. I will post a review to the book uh, very quickly uh, and it's, it, it is coming on the 9th of January which is the release date for this book but uh, overall I will quickly mention my thoughts but please go check out my review um, and let me know uh, what you think of it. <laughs> but uh, anyways uh, this is a uh, poem and uh, short prose collection from Langleaf and if you might know her uh, from her other uh, collections which uh, are uh, Love and Mis in Other Misadventures, Lullabies and another one I forgot um, but she is a very talented poet and uh, writer. The reason I gave it three stars is because I uh, didn't relate to the content and it is not because it's not beautiful beautifully written it is so beautiful <laughs> it is very beautiful i just couldn't relate to it i don't think i am um into this sort of poetry anymore please let me know down below what you have read this month um and if you've read any of those books let me know your thoughts uh if you do you agree with my thoughts or uh do you disagree i'm really interested to know uh please leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my my channel to see more of my videos and to see the coming review of Sea of Strangers. Have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!